Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Rajni Khan and this is the continuation of Spring Boot Microservices series. If you have not watched earlier videos, you can watch other videos that earlier videos to have a clear understanding. So today's video is gonna discuss uh, how we can register our applications to Eureka server or service registry. Okay, so in last video uh, we have seen how we can create a Eureka server and what is the need of Eureka server. So today's video is gonna discuss how we can how we can register our application to Eureka server. So this is pretty simple. Uh, we're gonna see in details. So before proceeding to today's video, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe it immediately and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications from my side. Okay, so this is my channel. If you'll see lot of uh, lot of helpful videos are there for you people to gain a deep understanding kafka uh, what is kafka kafka consumer and all those kafka related videos are here java 8 which is very important in in terms of interview prospective as well as application dev uh, prospectives because uh, though uh, higher versions of java are there but still people are uh, using and uh, more frequently using java 8 features so no choice <laughs> you need to uh, have those uh, concept okay so here a lot of other videos are, are there so, uh, those are really helpful to people you can consider and uh, uh, subscribe my channel as well to have uh, all those details okay if you'll upload some other videos also it will notify you people and you you will not miss those as well okay let's jump into today's uh, discussion so uh, how we can register our applications to eureka server so for that one we need eureka discovery client so like this you can generate that project okay anyway we, we no need to generate the project from scratch if you are uh, your application is already there in the system and uh, that application is up and running so just we need to add a particular dependencies to your application okay otherwise if you are generating a fresh project then you can have a eureka discovery client uh, the dependency in your pom.xml okay so already i have created projects so let me show you where i have added the dependency okay so if you'll consider here I have payment service and ticket booking service two services are there so if you'll go to payment uh, service so this is the palm.xml of payment service and here if you'll consider uh, spring cloud starter netflix eureka client so we need to have that eureka client uh, dependency this is one and if you'll consider ticket booking service so let's go to that palm.xml okay so if you'll see here as well we have spring cloud starter netflix eureka client so we have eureka client as a uh, dependency then we need to have little bit modification in our application dot properties uh, as we need to point uh, which is that uh, service registry where we need to register our application that url we need to give okay so if you'll see in ticket booking service we have provided eureka dot client dot service hyphen url or default zone so that eureka servers url we have provided here so this much is required to uh, register our application into the service registry or eureka server first thing we need to uh, add, a, add the dependency eureka client dependency then we need to have uh, in application dot properties we need to provide that uh, eureka default uh, zone url so that uh, it will identify which where i need to register okay and one more thing we need to do in that main class we need to have annotation at the rate enable eureka client so in server what we have added at the rate enable eureka server we have added into that uh, service registry but as these are the clients we need to register these applications 
to the service registry we need to have at the red enable eureka client this is one annotation very very important in terms of interview perspective as well as application development perspective okay this these three things are required add one annotation at the red enable eureka client and uh and second thing add a uh, dependency that uh, eureka client dependency spring boot uh, cloud netflix eureka client dependency in the pom.xml and uh, application dot properties at that default url zone of service registry or eureka okay mm, we have done so both for ticket booking service as well as payment service i have done these codings earlier to uh, save some time okay this is payment service i have not done that part let me enable at the red enable eureka client okay at the red enable eureka client and let's see in that uh, application dot properties i have added or not okay i have added well and good so just see spring dot application dot name i have provided payment service here for payment service and for ticket booking service same way i have given uh, okay so now let's uh, run these applications okay so this applications i need to run for that one i need to run config server anyway otherwise it will not gonna run so let's run that config server first because uh, some of that application it will read from config server uh, let me run as spring boot app and that service registry is already running So if you will see here uh, that service registry is already up and running so i have run a config server now let's run this payment server okay i have added that enable eureka client these are simple spring boot applications okay so which uh port i need to run so let's run first 8082 then i'll run 80832 instances so this is that way we can run uh, multiple instances okay so let's run it again currently 8082 it's running now let's run in 8083 two instances of payment services up and running now let's go to ticket booking service and ticket booking service will gonna uh, run that one spring board up okay so now currently uh, we have payment service two instances of payment service and one instance of ticket booking service is up and running okay uh, it will take uh, a little bit time to reflect into the config not config my bad service registry okay so service registry is also is there earlier i have shown you that uh, no instances are running now let's refresh 8761 okay so currently just see payment service availability zone to so two instances are running and ticket booking service one instance is running just see here it is showing up host.docker.internal colon payment service colon 8082 okay so this is coming uh, this host.docker.internal as i have installed a docker engine in my system so it is showing otherwise it should show local host so currently if you'll see 8082 and 8083 two instances are running and 8081 as a ticket booking service so let's uh stop one uh 
instance of payment service and we'll gonna check so if you'll see here uh, in this one uh, payment service let me stop 80831 so currently I am stopping this 80831 okay and let's go to uh, stopping service completed shutdown now let's go to uh, this uh, Eureka server and we'll gonna see just see currently only 8082 is there 8083 is not there so if you will run dynamically if you will run uh, your or if you increase your instances dynamically it will register to this 80 uh, sorry it will register to this uh, service registry or Eureka server let me run it again so this is uh, payment service let me run with uh, again run as spring boot up and 8083 for example we have the capability to uh, scale that instances dynamically then all those instances will be registered under this eureka server if you'll see here 8083 so this will be very easy uh, for that uh, one micro one microservice to another microservice while we are communicating so this uh, this instance will be available and it will fetch from Eureka server okay so hope you got it how we can register our uh, microservices to Eureka server okay uh, so uh, uh, put your valuable comments in the comment section uh, this is uh, really helpful to uh, us okay so thank you for watching guys have a nice day